guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm back with another testing video. Today I'm going to be testing the Norvina liners which is the new liners that was recently launched by ABH. These liners retail at £30 and you get three water activated liners in them. So they're actually cheaper than the Super ones. So this is the Super one that I have here. This retails on Beauty Bay at about £12. This is another water activated liner. And then you get three of the Norvina ones for £30. So I picked up these liners because I knew I'd use these ones compared to the other ones, but I'll also pop a picture of what the other cake liner collection looks like. I have this one in electric pink, electric yellow and electric green. Hence why I currently have green eyes at the moment. I thought it might be nice to kind of do a look with all three of the liners and kind of line the wings. So that is my idea. I don't know how well it's going to go but we're just going to roll with it anyway. Also I just thought I'd drop a little plug that if you are new here and you've never seen me before then feel free to hit that subscribe button. If you haven't already make sure to also give this video a big massive thumbs up if you do end up enjoying it. And without further ado I'm just going to roll onto the video and test out these liners and let you know what I think. Okay so before I get started just a little disclaimer I did buy these liners with my own money. Unfortunately I'm not on the ABH PR list yet <laughs> but fingers crossed I will at some point in my lifetime. I just knew I had to get hold of these because I am such a sucker for cake liners and neon liners in general. I absolutely love using colour on my lids and experimenting with colour and I think neon liners is a good way to kind of like edge up the look. So currently the look on my eyes is it's simple. It's just basically a blended green effect. For this look I actually did use the James Charles, well the Morphe X James Charles palette. So the liners do actually come in this box as I did mention in my original intro. These liners retail at £30 and you get three of these liners. So it works out at about £10 each which for ABH I thought these liners would be a little bit more. And then this is what the packaging looks like. I am not the biggest fan of this packaging. From pitch that is why. From pictures, I was kind of excited because I was like, ooh, that's a new like package idea. Like I haven't really seen that a lot before, especially from ABH. But when it comes to actually using them in real life and using the packaging, it just can kind of get a little bit annoying that it's like a magnetic fold out sort of thing. So I'll show you what I mean. This is what the packaging looks like. So like I mentioned, it's kind of like a fold out effect. So fold these two out. If I pop it back in, because I don't want to like scrape my nail in anything, you just open up the top one and it comes with this little mirror which is quite cute but I think it's so small that I wouldn't actually use it so I'm trying really hard here not to stand my nail in. This is what it looks like. I would have preferred them in three separate pans because I think the fold out I'm gonna stab my nail or break it or something. I just kind of want to like take them apart if you get what I mean. These are the three liners. There are absolutely stunning colours like that yellow Oh my god. <laughs> but nevertheless, I do get where ABH is coming from because it's kind of like a different sort of packaging idea. And it's definitely different to, for example, what Suva's doing because the Suva liners just come in like a little plastic um, box thing. So it is a little bit different. And with them coming in a pack of three, I do kind of understand. But personally, I would have liked them in three separate like fold out. Uh, they all came with a mirror and it just kind of have the circular ones so you can pick and choose. But anyway, nevertheless, I'm gonna actually go and water activate these and swatch a couple on my hands. Because I'm filming downstairs in my basement, I just get a cup of water. Probably don't need this much, but it was the cup that I found and it was just easier. Because I have all three liners, I'm gonna use three brushes today. I've got one from Spectrum, which is the Spectrum A09 brush. This is the one that I usually use. I have one from Real Techniques, which it's very, very fluffy, so I don't know how well that's going to go, but it's the only other, like, small, pointy brush that I have. And then finally, I have the All The Deets brush, which is by Beauty Bay. It's part of the EYM brush collection. Actually, a lot of people get confused how to use water-activated liners, but it's dead simple. You literally just get your brush. What I do is I pop it in my water. Just kind of swirl it in a little bit. This is the way Suva said to do it from their YouTube video. So I've just always used it for their liners. So I'll presume it's kind of the same concept with the ABH ones. And then I just go in and tap my brush into a certain place. And as you can see, that activates it. So you get like a little dent where you've got the water activation. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that for all three and swatch it on my hand so you can see what the colors look like 
on the skin. So firstly, I'm just gonna swatch the pink shade. Oh. oh my God, that is incredible. I don't know how well I swatched that on camera. That is such a gorgeous neon shade. Normally with the Suva ones as well, it takes quite a while to build up the pigment. Whereas that was just one swipe and the pigment was there. So I'm really, really impressed with that. And then next up, we have the neon yellow shade. I'm expecting really good things from this. Oh my gosh. So that takes probably a little bit more to build up the pigment, but it's a yellow, so I'm not surprised. But that is still absolutely stunning. I've been so excited for a yellow neon liner for so long. And then finally, we have the neon green shade. I'm not too keen on this brush, so I don't know how it's gonna work, but I'm just gonna give it a try anyway. If I had a better brush to use that with, that would be stunning. I mean, that's a very watery version because of the brush, but still a pretty nice shade. I've actually found another pointy brush that I never realised I had. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to take green, then yellow, then pink. I think that might be the best like colour combo way of doing this. And also I want the green to kind of like be in the inner corner and then go out into the other colours because I want the other colours to be more of the like main deal for this look. So we're going to start off with the green. So I'm going to take that brush that I just mentioned, which is the strikeout brush from Beauty Bay. I'm going to just dip that into my water. I just like to keep making sure that it is actually water activated. And I'm going to go into that green. It picks up a lot of product, you know, like more than the Suva one does, which is quite impressive. So I'm just going to take that brush and I'm just going to begin by lining the top. On a scale of 1 to 10, do not ask me how nervous I am because it will be a 10. I really like that. I'm just gonna keep building it up a little bit, see how like a neon it gets. By the way, if it's a little bit messy, it doesn't matter because I'm gonna go in with another shade of eyeshadow underneath these lines. Now to match it on the other side. Honestly, right, these are really easy to work with and I didn't think I'd find anything that topped the Suva liners because obviously the Suva liners are so hype. They are really, really nice, but I feel like these ABH ones are easier to work with and a lot more pigmented as well. Okay, I nearly forgot what I was doing then, but I'm going in with the yellow. So I'm gonna take the yellow section, which is obviously this one. I just like to dip back in my water again, just to like reactivate it. And then I'm gonna pop this next to the green. That is so pretty. They do dry down and go a little less neon, which what the Suva ones did, so it's expected, but they're still really, really vibrant and nice. So finally, I'm just gonna take the final brush and I'm just gonna go in with the pink shade. Okay, so I'm just gonna put this one out into the wing. If I need to extend the yellow or anything, I'll go back in and do that. Oh my gosh, this has actually turned out really, really pretty. Like, I thought my life was gonna be an absolute fail once I did this, but I'm pretty proud of myself, to be honest. Okay, so if I zoom out and show you my full face, this is what it looks like. I'm really, really happy with this. I think I'm gonna go in again and just go in with another layer and try to brighten it out as much as I can. But I think this pink one has come out really, really neon. Like to get it to this neon with, with my Suva pink neon one, which I keep referring back to because I think that's the, like the biggest, I don't want to say competitor, but the biggest similar product to this. I have to build it up quite a bit to get it to this level of pink. Whereas with the Anastasia one, that was pretty much done in like two swipes. So I'm just gonna go back in with the shades again and I'm just gonna try to make sure that they're as neon as they can be. I've gone back in and I'm pretty happy. These are so easy to work with. Like they don't go really, really watery either. And they just apply really, really nicely. Like I'm a lot more impressed with these than I thought I would be. Just gonna finish off this look. And like I said, I was gonna put a shadow underneath these liners anyway. Um, so I'm gonna go back in with the James Charles palette, which I used in the first place. And I'm just gonna use this 
is like a gorgeous glittery like shimmer turquoise shade which i thought would actually go really really nice with this look on the lid and i love this shade as well it's such a nice shimmer so i'm just going to take a flat brush this actually doesn't have a name because it was from a set that i got from tk maxx when i first started doing makeup about three years ago and i'm just going to pack up my lid underneath where we've just put those liners. That is pretty much the turquoise shade on. I know I brought it a little bit further down here so it looks a little bit odd at the moment but once I've done my base and we go to the under eyes it'll all fit together nicely, trust me. I'm gonna go off camera and I'm gonna do my face because I don't wanna bore you by doing my base makeup for about 10 minutes of this video. So I'm just gonna quickly jump off and then I will be right back and we will do the rest of the under eyes. So as you can now see, my base makeup is done. I just thought I'd do a quick run through of what I used on my face, just in case you're wondering. Foundation, I use the LA Girl Pro Coverage Foundation. This is like one of my favorite foundations at the moment, um, mainly because it's really good for my normal to dry skin. But my concealer, I use the No Filter Concealer by Colourpop, absolutely love this. Everything I'm using is like a staple in my makeup collection, so buy it. For my powder, I use the Kiko Radiant Fusion Powder, of course, don't use anything else. And then, <laughs> for my bronzer, I use the Makeup Revolution X Roxy Collection. I've actually gone back to this palette, I've stopped using it for quite a while, but I've gone back to it and I used this shade down here for my bronzer. For my blush, I used a pretty new one in my collection, which I said I liked this in my testing video, and let me tell you, I have used it every single day on my makeup since. I actually use this shade down here from the Makeup Revolution X Roxy Blush Palette. For my highlighter, I went for a very ABH moment. I used the Aurora Palette and I took this icy white shade down here. Finally, for lips, I used my favorite combo ever, literally another Anastasia moment, but it's an Anastasia video, so I thought, why not? This is my go-to lip combo anyway. I used um, Honey by Anastasia Beverly Hills, and then I like to pair this with my Kiko 3D Hydra Gloss in the shade 02. Whew, that's everything. Now I'm gonna go for my under eyes. I think I'm gonna go for neon liner across the bottom, and then blend it out with a green shade just to make everything together i don't know if this will work but we're just gonna go with it anyway if it goes awful then it goes awful it's fine go back in with the liners nearly drop them so firstly i'm gonna go in with the green sorry there's water like literally coming from my brush it says avoid contact with the direct eye area so i'm gonna put this under um if i go blind in both eyes then it's fine anastasia i'm not gonna sue you i'm already blind in one eye anyway which is this one so i can put this one as close into the eye if I want to. It's not like it's gonna make a difference. I'm blinding it anyway. Next, I'm gonna go in with the yellow. I'm just gonna take this next to the green like we did before. I actually think I'm just gonna use neon line on my lower lash line. So I'm just gonna go back in with the pink shade. And I'm just gonna put this next to the yellow just to tie the look together. Yeah, it definitely looks better if I wing it out because if I didn't, it would like stop here. Whereas when I winged it out, it was extra. But for mascara, before I pop on, pop on my lashes, I'm just gonna go in with the Big Lash Mascara by Makeup Revolution, which is one of my all time favorite mascaras. It's so good and it's literally six pounds. I'm just gonna also retake the icy shade from the Aurora palette and use that for my inner corner because if I'm honest, it's a mess and I forgot about my inner corner highlight, but it's fine. I just like to put some on my nose because nose highlight is like my favorite thing ever. And now I look like a glowed up version of Rudolph, quite literally, but it's fine. I'm gonna take these lashes, which are by Lashes by Lucy. These are in the shade Drama Queen, which are like some of my favorite lashes ever these are also vegan and cruelty free i'll leave them in the description bar below because they're really good especially for the price and we like to support small businesses so i'm just going to use these lashes but i'm going to do it off camera because otherwise i'm just going to turn into a mess so i'll be right back so while i was gone i ended up successfully putting my lashes on which doesn't often happen i mean this one did not want to stick in the corner i still don't think it does but 
nevertheless. And then I ended up getting eyeliner on my nose because I always line the top of my lids before I put lashes on just because the band doesn't really show as much. Um, I've cleaned that up successfully. How does that happen? I really hope that you did enjoy this video and you did find it helpful. If you did enjoy this video, then don't forget to smash it a big massive thumbs up and also feel free to hit that subscribe button. If you haven't already, make sure to also tap that little bell down below so you are notified every single time I post a new video. I do also post makeup looks on my Instagram and my TikTok page, so if you want to go and follow me over there, then feel free to. I will also leave the links down below for the Norvina liners, which as you can tell, I absolutely loved and you'll definitely be seeing a lot more of these in my look. Thank you so incredibly much for watching. Stay safe, stay well, and hopefully I will see you on my next video very, very soon. Bye!